It's the 9th of uh, November, 2016. A good day to do almost anything to distract myself. And uh, the thing that I'm doing is uh, really a distraction. <laughs> uh, we have this wonderful huge vent hood here, which is uh, seven feet long and two and a half feet wide and uh, has a uh, 2,000 horsepower. <laughs> Yes, yeah, 2,000 horsepower motor, 2,000 watt motor up there, and um, it uh, is a wonderful uh, addition to our, ch our kitchen. In fact, it dominates the kitchen, of course, and uh, is very um, effective at removing uh, odors of all kinds and uh, the fat of, from cooking. Uh, we can. Uh, we can uh, fry fish in here and turn it on in the rest of the house. Uh, you would never know anyone was cooking anything in it. Uh, consequently, of course, being an effective uh, remover of uh, all kinds of uh, cooking uh, vapors, you can imagine that it does collect a lot of grease and dirt and that it needs to be cleaned. Um, I have some pictures of Karin taking the filters out. They're not really filters. These are, um, I'll show you what they are. They're actually And they're just metal baffles. There's no use in using a filter of any kind on a system like this because it would plug up very, very quickly. So what these do, they collect the, the grease. And if you have, like in a, if we were making uh, 150 pounds or 500 pounds of uh, French fries a day, then of course they'd be collecting so much grease that it would drip into this trough here. You can see this trough here. It would drip into that. It would run down this way, and it would, could be emptied here. In fact, in, in most places that use these, there will be a hose coming down, going to a, a canister uh, to, to dr keep the fat draining all the time, the, the grease draining off all the time. Uh, we only have very little uh, grease as such, but of course, the whole thing does get very grimy. Now, and these are cleaned. The way I clean them is I put them in the dishwasher. And unfortunately, I can only put one in at a time. So we had to run them four times. Here I have one that I just finished. Oops, I might fog up my lens here. I don't know. Yeah, it did. Oh, sorry about that. It should clear up in just a little bit. Oh, it's getting better now. Okay, so um, I just, uh, the dishwasher just ran. It's going to be quite warm. I guess I can. No, it's all right. Okay, and it is spotless now. That's nice. This one I actually had to do twice. It didn't get clean uh, properly cleaned the first time, but uh, it's fine now. So these are done. This is the main job, but uh, the more unpleasant job that still needs to be done is, of course, this this edge here is also very sticky and inside there's a little bit of grease. It's really not too bad. So I will um, cover the whole island here, this cooking island that we work on. I will cover with a plastic um, uh, tarpaulin and um, then I'll spray an industrial uh, grease remover around the edge here. We have a special grease remover for, for restaurants. We use on a lot of our equipment because, especially here for the, the gas stove, for instance, uh, it gets uh, very greasy. And uh, if we spray this industrial or, or, or commercial cleaner on it, it uh, takes it off, wipes off very well. And I'm going to use the same stuff here. But I have to be careful, of course. I don't want it to drip onto the beech wood top here, which also needs definitely needs to be worked on. I need to, uh, I need to sand this and um, 
re-oil it. So let's get to it. Uh, while the rest of you are working on repairing and sanding uh, interesting cars or running your model trains around the track, I'm uh, cleaning my kitchen. Well, somebody has to do it. Thanksgiving is coming. We're planning a big Thanksgiving dinner and I want to have it all cleaned up nicely before people come. My mother would say, oh heavens, don't do that. Do it when, when they've left. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I might even do that actually, except that there are going to be some cooks coming to dinner and uh, they'll probably look around. So I want to have it clean. All right. We've got the uh, work island here, the central island covered up. Hi, Valentine. Had enough of this place, huh? Um, <clears throat> we've got this all covered up. Uh, I put the baffles down here on the floor and I started removing the grease that had gathered down at the end here. This, this unit is made so that it hangs slightly tilted so that that end is lower there and any grease that gathers in this trough here runs to that end. And you can see here there's a good deal of, uh, of grease that I've taken out. Um, I've just gone along with paper. I could have opened this and let it drip out but then, well, I didn't. I didn't know how much there was. I didn't bother getting a mirror or crawling up there and looking into it. So there was some, but it probably wouldn't have made much of a difference anyway because it's very thick and sticky, so it probably wouldn't have run out very well. Uh, I want to get as much of it out of there as possible before I spray it with this, uh, with this um, detergent so that I don't have too much gloopy mess to deal with. <clears throat> Actually, I may take this out there anyway and rinse the whole thing and let the water run into a bucket uh, from there. I'll just have to see whether I want to bother doing that or not. It's really not as bad as I thought it would be when you consider it's been a good time since we've cleaned it last. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it out, uh, spray it out, spray it down and wipe it out and uh, uh, we'll see how, how it then works. So when I get along a little further, I'll show you and we'll be putting things back together again after a while. I may have a, I may turn my machine back on here and have a coffee too. Well, that would be novel. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> 